Hey everybody, it's Julie the Whippy Chick here, and it's time for another video of Whippy Chick's picks. So these are my 50 favorite uh, Christmas, crochet Christmas pins uh, from Pinterest. So I have them broken down into different sections, and the first section is Ain't Nothing Like a Nomi. So let's take a look at what we found on Pinterest for gnomes. So I'm loving this little Christmas gnome. His little Christmas tree hat is adorable with all these cute little baubles for decorations and the cute little star. And I love his pretty soft beard. It doesn't look too tricky to make. This is available for crochet, um, I'm sorry, this is available at crochet.amagaroom.com. Our second little group of gnomies are these cute little snowman gnomes. I think they're adorable. I especially love this little guy's earmuffs and this guy's hat with the snowman on it. But what, you know, tops it all off for me is the one who is skiing. I love his little skis and ski poles. So these can be found in DIY Magazine. Um, I'm not sure if it's paid or a free pattern, it says both, free pattern and paid. So it's possible that if you want to um, look at the pattern with ads, that it would be free, but maybe you can pay for a download and not have the ads. So at any rate, I think they're adorable. Our next gnomes are this cute little couple of gnomes. I think it's a Mr. and Mrs. kind of set. Um, their little legs are so teeny tiny and skinny and they're it looks like they're sitting on a shelf so i'm almost wondering if maybe uh the inside of these little guys is uh weighted down maybe um super cute though it looks like teeny tiny stitches um these guys this is called the danish christmas gnome and it's a free crochet pattern uh, by maria la larga very cute uh, the next Christmas Gnome Patterns by Hanjan Crochet. It's a PDF. And um, these two little guys are just adorable. And it looks as if they were maybe um, published in a magazine uh, called Simply Crochet Issue 38 uh, with a woodland wreath. So possible that they go with a set, but very cute. Our next gnomes are the snowman gnomes. Um, these guys are really cute too, and it looks like there's two different hat patterns that you could use, um, and two different nose patterns. See, these ones look like round, and these ones look more like carrot shaped. So those are super cute. That's by jenhayescreations.com, and I think they're really cute. I like the snowman ones a lot. These little guys are adorable. Um, I went back and forth whether I would put it with ornaments or with gnomes, but I figured these little gnomes would like to hang out with their other gnomies. These are by Golden Lucy Crafts, and um, just really cute little patterns for your Christmas tree. Here's another uh, little Christmas gnome. He's got a Christmas tree hat like the first one, only this one he actually has real little bells and decorations on him, and uh, he's just adorable. I just love him. So those are my Christmas gnome. Christmas gnomes. Ain't nothing like a gnomey. All right, the next section I have are ornaments. And these guys are really cute. I'm loving these cute little granny Christmas baubles. They do look like they start with like a, a granny circle uh, type pattern. They kind of remind me of hacky sacks. I think they're really cute though. I love these little patterns. Our next Christmas ornament is the Santa Yoda free crochet pattern by Julia Simpson. And I'm a Star Wars fan, so of course I'm loving the little Santa Yoda. Uh, I think any, any uh, Star Wars fan would love it. So I love these. I think these are adorable. They're kind of self-explanatory as far as how to make them, especially if you watched my um, recent video on how to make curly cues. That's basically what these are, I think. They look just like curly cues and then you kind of just twist them together and fold them over at the top. That's how it looks to me. <laughs> these are called Crochet Christmas Candies by Sarah. And it looks like you can also make a wreath with these. So these are a very, very cute pattern. 
and probably really simple and quick to make is uh, like maybe teacher gifts or for neighbors. Really cute. Okay, so uh, Rough Musa, Rough Musa Designs, um, dot com, or maybe yeah, or maybe it's RaphamUSADesigns.com. I'm really not sure. Anyhow, I love these little, they're supposed to be ugly Christmas sweaters. I think they're adorable Christmas sweaters myself, but they're super cute to hang on your Christmas tree. Those are, um, it says free patterns at the Pattern Center. Uh, this is also really, really cute, kind of the country look. Make your very own crochet star ornaments. So these are really cute too. And these look fairly simple to me to make. And in this um, section, in the ornament section, I want to say this is probably my favorite. I love this Regina P. Designs um, Christmas tree ornament. I think that it's really simple to make. To me, it looks like it's just um, a very long row of a single crochet, just one row of single crochet. And then it's folded back and forth you following my cursor? <laughs> Folded back and forth and then um, strung through with um, maybe a piece of thread and some beads strung through the middle and then with a little uh, ring on the end and a, a cord. I think it looks like it's probably really quick and simple to make and definitely I would have to say my favorite pattern in this section. I think it's adorable. Okay, so that takes care of gnomies and ornaments, so let's move on to home decor. I do have 13 pins in this section because home decor just covers a whole bunch of things, right? So we've got our towel topper patterns. We've got a little snowman and we've got a little gingerbread person and we've got the classic uh, red truck with the Christmas tree in the back. So those are really, really cute. Very country, you know? Um, Repeat Crafter Me always has wonderful stuff and uh, these little Christmas coasters are no different. They're very cute. We've got a little wreath and a little candy, a little gingerbread head and a little um, Santa tummy here. We've got, oops, sorry about that. Um, we've got a little snowman and we've got a couple of Christmas ornaments. So those are really cute and Repeat Crafter Me always has adorable stuff. And I can say the same for Daisy Farm Crafts. They always have wonderful stuff there too. And I think that what's really cool about Daisy Farm Crafts is they take one simple idea and it makes all the difference. So to me, what makes this so special and different is these white stripes in between the green stripes to create the tree and also the, the candy cane. I would have never thought to do that like alternating row of white, but what a big difference it makes. If this were just a solid green, it would be completely different looking and not nearly as sweet. So love this, these little um, hot pads. I think they're adorable. Okay, so another one of my favorite designers is Highland Hickory Designs, and I'm loving this really cute top hat uh, candy dish. So cute, right? I, I just, it's adorable. It makes me think of, um, kind of like a Christmas Carol. Remember that movie, A Christmas Carol and the story? The top hat just makes me think of that. Love that. Okay, another super duper cute pattern by Repeat Crafter Me is this Christmas lights blanket. I love this. Really love this. Like love this to the point where I might just have to make this. Everything about this is so cute to me. I'm not sure I would go with the same border. I might do a different border, um, but I do love this pattern idea. And it doesn't look terribly difficult. Love it. Okay, so this next one is a beginner cozy. Um, it's a Christmas tree cozy. I think this would make a perfect gift for teachers or coworkers or any um, person who likes their hot drinks. It doesn't look terribly difficult. Um, and I love the little snowflakes at the top of the tree. Really cute. And I think those would make really great gifts. 
Next we have the Christmas uh, ornament balls. Now I considered putting this in with ornaments, but the way they have it displayed here on top of this, it's either a table or a mantle um, in the basket. I just thought it was really cute. And I thought, okay, well you don't have to put these on a tree. They look really cute where they are like this. So I, I decided home decor would be a good spot. But I think they're really cute, very, um, very country looking, very farmhouse looking. And once again, Repeat Crafter Me knocks it out of the ballpark with the Christmas lights look. So this is like a garland of Christmas lights, which would look really great with that blanket, right? I think so. Um, Maria's Blue Crayon .com made this adorable um, pillow cover pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I love this. My sister's name is Joy, and she also loves to crochet, so I might just have to send her this pattern. She can make the pillow for her room. <laughs> she can have it up all year round. I think it's really cute. Um, I really do love these uh, granny squares uh, with the Christmas tree center. I think they're adorable. Um, in this picture, they're showing it as a blanket, but I've also seen this exact same um, pattern used as a cardigan sweater. So they made a bunch of granny squares and, and then pieced it together in a cardigan. So um, either way, really super duper cute. Um, I'm not sure if that had, yeah, I don't see a designer name on there anywhere. Okay, the next pattern is uh, by CozyNookDesigns.com, and it's the Farmhouse Christmas Tree Skirt. And I really like this. I love the simplicity of it, and just the, the pretty buttons are all that's going to really give it a whole lot of um, bang, I guess, <laughs> a little pop. Of color and it does have the the cute stripes in it um, I'm thinking maybe they they did maybe a back loop only or something like that to give it that ridge but I really do like the simplicity of that tree skirt so we have the pinewood pillow it's a bobble stitch um, it looks really cute and again it's it's got that that kind of farmhouse look to it really really simple and really clean looking and I like it a lot so that's by eclairmakery.com. Next, we've got a couple of kitchen towels. This is by Jennifer Pionk. I'm guessing is how to say it. It's copyrighted by Jennifer Pionk. Um, it looks like there's two um, kitchen towel ideas here. We've got the snowman and we've also got the gingerbread man. So those were my favorite home decor Christmas ideas. Next section, we've got Amigurumi, which I just love. Amigurumi, they're so super duper cute. Um, and I showed this one to my coworker today and she was like, how cute is that? So this is a nativity set and it is available on Ravelry. This is one of the few patterns that I did put up here that is a for sale pattern. It's not a free pattern, but I really do like it a lot. Um, let me see if I can find a price for you. I wanna say it's about $6. Yep, I was right. So six US dollars for this pattern. And um, I just think they're really cute. Well, that's not the greatest picture. Sorry about that, guys. It's better. All right, back to Pinterest. My next Amigurumi is this adorable little snowman. I think he's really cute. I love how it looks like he's giggling, right? He's so cute. And I love his top hat. And this one look, he looks like he's waving. <laughs> I wonder if they have like a wire inside there to make it stay up. He's really cute. Um, next one, we've got a Christmas tree pattern here. This is by heathercorin.com. Just a cute little happy face on it. Nothing super exciting, but I just found it to be really simple and really cute. Um, this little deer here is adorable, little reindeer. Um, it kind of looks like it would be a doe, but it's also got antlers, so I'm not quite sure if it's a boy or a girl, but it is adorable either way. This is by Grace and Yarn. Our next amakarumi is the Grinch, and this must be after the Grinch's heart uh, expanded two times its size because he is smiling in this picture. 
He's really cute with his cute little scarf. This is a free pattern by Little Crochet Farm. And our last, I believe, I'm a groomy, um, is this cat that's just wrapped up in the Christmas lights. And <laughs> it does not look very happy about it. It absolutely reminds me of my neighbor's cat, Lily, because she looks like this most of the time. <laughs> this is by Studio Wow Toys UA. Um, it, and it looks like it's another one of those from DIY Magazine where there are free patterns and paid, so I'm not sure which this is. But it is really funny. It makes me laugh. I think that was the last one. Yeah. Okay, so that was it for Amigurumi. Let's move on to stockings. Now, you don't want to have your furry friend left out. Your puppy needs to have a stocking too, right? How cute is this one? So this is called a Dog's pa Dog Paws Christmas Stocking, and it is a free crochet pattern. Um, and I believe it's by Red Heart. Yeah, there's the, the, the thing right here. So this is by Red Heart. Really cute. Um, okay, so this is free color work charts for uh, crochet Christmas stockings. So if you are a little bit more of an advanced crocheter and you like to make um, things with charts and following the charts, um, this might be something that's up your alley. Uh, this is by uh, yarndrazil.com. And again, this is for the color work chart. I'm not sure if it gives you the pattern for the whole stocking, it might be just the chart. But still, I thought they were gorgeous, and um, I thought that was worth sharing with you all. Uh, next, this is like the classic crochet Christmas stocking, right? It's all red with the white fuzzies at the top. It is definitely classic. Um, this is by Crochet365 Knit 2. And um, yeah, I just thought it was the classic one. And I do love the furry at the top. Our next one is the Crafty Boho Stocking, and I just love the long tassel at the end of it on the back, and um, I love the bobbles as well. So that's really cute. Um, this is by Eat, Pray, and Crochet. Uh, the next one, I love the African Flower. Um, if you're interested in learning how to make the African Flower, I do have a tutorial on that. It's one of my first tutorials, actually, that I ever did. I do love um, how this looks though. I love how they pieced it together. So if you're willing to make a bunch of African flowers and just kind of follow the tutorial from Persia Lou, you can uh, go ahead and make your own stocking. So this is at www.prettydarnadorable.com. Um, and I agree, they are pretty darn adorable stockings. Very, um, again, kind of that farmhouse look. Really like the, um, the long pom-pom uh, ball, balls on the end. They're really cute too. And look at these. Are really just very simple and very cute. These um, pretty stockings. I like these as well. I think it's kind of neat to have them in blue. So these are Country Crochet Christmas Stockings Free Pattern. I'm not sure who the designer is for this. Let's take a click see if we can find out who's the designer. Always want to give props. Um, it looks like it's available as stitching together free crochet patterns um, but it doesn't give me a designer name. And that is it for my stockings. Our next and last section is uh, 10 pins of wearables. Again, we don't want to leave our furry friends out this Christmas. We want to have fun stuff for them too. So here is an adorable elf hat for your cat. If your cat is willing to wear an elf hat, more power to you. I think my cat would have not been interested in that at all. <laughs> so this crochet pattern is copyrighted by Possum Crochet. That is possum, man. Totally possum. <laughs> And we don't want our big guys left out. So this is um, a free crochet pattern for a Christmas dog scarf. If your dog is interested in wearing a scarf, uh, head on over to goldenlucycrafts.com and get the pattern. You can make one for your puppy. All right, let's get back to our little 
our little ones here. How cute are these hats? I love the ear flap hats. Um, and don't let the ear flaps scare you. They really are not difficult to add on. Um, it's really a piece of cake. I, I think I wrote a pattern. I think Mama's ear flap hat. I'm pretty sure I wrote a pattern for it, and I think there's a video, but honestly, I don't remember. Um, I love the Santa ones, but I have to say this one here is just adorable to me. Love this. So um, it says the Hoot, and I think that's the name of the designer, but I'm not positive. I love this, uh, www.elmacraft.com. I think this is really cute. I love this hat. Um, and if you, cl if you were to find this pin, it's 25 festive Christmas beanies to crochet this year. Um, but this one was definitely my favorite. I love the Christmas tree um, that's kind of in there. And it, it's almost got like a Tweety look to it. Super cute. Um, this is another free crochet. Um, it's an elf hat. Super cute, right? Love that. Uh, this Christmas cardigan, it just looks so corny to me, but so fun at the same time. I, I, I can't imagine wearing it, but I can't imagine loving it. It's just too cute. I can absolutely see my sister wearing this. She'd really like it. <laughs> Um, love this scarf. Again, I considered putting this in with the Nomi's, but it is definitely a scarf and it is a wearable. I absolutely love this. It's by Crochet and Chardonnay. How cute is that? The scarf is essentially his big long hat. Okay, so Hand and Soul came up with this crochet pattern for Christmas elf shoes. Um, I'm sorry. It's, it's hand, heart, and soul. I just said hand and soul, but it's heart. I'm sorry, hand, heart, and soul. And soul is spelled like the sole of a shoe. These are absolutely adorable, and they look super cozy, too. I love that. I love the, the Grinch corner-to-corner -corner scarf. I think that's really, really cute. Um, and this pattern actually comes with a wine cozy, um, like a, a wine bag as well so that's really cute um, this is at yourcrochet.com and this is the last I think of my 50 favorite ideas and I just love this this is uh, by Alexandra Hazley or I'm sorry Halsey it's probably Halsey Alexandra Halsey it's the Christmas vacation beanie and I love it I think it's so cute and it looks like they're maybe using um, some of the twinkle yarn on the lights it doesn't look super difficult but this is just very simple but clean looking I don't know I, I just love it and the black pom-pom I would have never thought of that but it really does make that hat pop so those are my 50 favorite crochet Christmas pattern ideas. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some great ideas and want to give some of them a try. And if you do, please let me know if you've made any of these or if you're planning to. I'd love to hear what you're planning on for your crochet Christmas. Until next time, everybody, have a great, great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.